Hey guys, welcome back. So in this video, we are going to do the create student part from our Angular CRUD. So let's get started. This is our students API, which returns the data of all the students. And we'll go to our backend. Let me show you the post mapping you see store. It takes in a request body of this. You need an ID, name, email and roll number. Okay. So we are going to create that in our Angular add student form. Okay, so let's get started. So in your SRC app, my components, you can see we just created a component called student create in our previous video. And yeah, this is just the default text over here. And this is the TS file. So firstly, we have to create a form where the user can type the data to insert the student details. So let's head to getbootstrap.com and get the form design from there. So just search for form. Just copy this and in an external div, I'll just paste the form. Okay. Close the sidebar, close the terminal. Yeah. So just change this input type equal to I'll let it be email because we have one email field so just change this to input type equal to text and you can remove this id or you can leave it doesn't matter so this is the name and we have the email over here i'll just arrange it name email and roll number say roll number Okay, this is also text and we don't need this checkbox and this is a submit button. So let us check the output. Refresh, you can see we just put this inside a container and give some space from the top. Here just say py5 dot container. okay save so we'll just put this inside a card so hold the form from here and say dot card card header add student and then we'll have the card body and then put the div inside that card body i mean the form inside the card body div yeah so now this should look good there is something missing okay the card shouldn't be closed here itself that should also go after the card body yeah yeah so now you can see and we'll just change this to h4 tag So now just refresh, you got the add student, students, add student, yeah. So let's go and start with the TS file. First, we will declare the fields. So we have an name, which is of type string. And you just give a not symbol over here. That means we are not uh, having an initial value for this name email. This is also of type string. And then you have the roll number okay so now we are going to bind this to our form okay so wherever you have the input type right we will use the ng model for that model and over here this is the name right so you can directly specify that but before using the ng model we need to import the forms module in our project so for that we'll have to go to the app module.ts and over here you have the imports right so just add the forms module over here save and close it so now you can see that error is gone and similarly we will just add the ng model for the name email and the this is the roll number right yeah so we have these three fields in our ts file so we will have to create a function in our service class where we will send the post data to the api 
and call that service class function over here so we'll go to the service first and over here i will say save student student open close and this will return a type of observable of type student okay so this is not an array of student this will return only one student and here we are going to copy this first we we'll just copy it from here paste it and just remove this first a single student and this is a post method okay so let me show you my backend api here you can see you have the store endpoint to store the data before that you have a slash students prefix so this is common for all the apis and we have the endpoints inside the controller so we can just keep this as the base url for all our functions so i'll just create a variable over here called base url and specify its type a string and then assign the value to it within double quotes okay so now we don't need to use this everywhere you can just use this variable directly say this dot base url and here we have an extra slash right so you can either use it like this dot base url plus slash store or what we can do is you can just keep this outside so it's more readable and clear and pass this url over here so we have specified the url now we need to send the data so that we will be getting from the student create component so i will just mention it over here student it is of type student over here yeah so now we will call this function in our ts file so before calling that function we need to inject that service in our component so for that we will use a constructor say private student service colon student service okay then we will create a function over here called save student data open close so this is a different function it does not have to match the name of this or it can match that will not cause an error okay so on click of the submit button so that is over here button type equal to submit we will just change it to button type equal to button so it does not refreshes the page and when a click event happens call this save student data function okay so over here we can just validate it if you want if this dot name is equal to null or let's see in that field names roll number if any of this is equal to null you can just stop here return false and before that you can alert all fields are mandatory okay and now if the data is there in all three we will just call the service class so say this dot student service dot save student and pass the data over here so i will store it first give the id as zero and name as this dot name just put that as key and then the email as this dot email and the roll number Uh, you can remove this as well that should work and now we will pass this student over here 
and then subscribe to that and we will get the result and let us log it to the console and check the output so on click we are calling this function right yeah so let's go to our browser and okay that is a warning let us just check so this is because of this return statement you can solve this by just editing your ts config file so over here ts config you have no implicit return so you can just change this to false and that error will go save yeah so now we don't have any errors or you can just remove that validation and add a different kind of validation so if ng model is used within a form tag either the name attribute must be set okay so we haven't given the name attribute over there just just add it okay now let us just check the output so you can see we don't have any errors so i will give a name say sharma gmail.com roll number say submit you can see we've got the data over here and also in my workbench i'll just refresh it is saved and we can also verify it from here students yeah we've got it over here so uh, there is no space over here we'll just add it in your students list html in the outer container you can just add py5 yeah or you can just use the same card and mention it as a student list card card header students have card body just put this inside the card body and just wrap the students inside a h4 tag so it look bold yeah add student say add gmail.com and say submit so we have not showed a message over here let us just alert it inside create component yeah so once you've got the data so just check if response is not null so if it is true we will alert student created and once that is done we will empty the text box okay so this dot name is equal to empty just put uh, double quotes and leave it email and phone i mean the roll number you can also use the form and reset the whole form but let us do this as of now refresh students that is added let us just check this one last time submit you can see student created okay and all the data is gone and it is saved in our database so that's it in this video guys we have seen how to create student from our angular app using api so thank you for watching this video guys. Please like the video and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.